Hello, fellow writing fellows. As you learned from Michelle recently, uh, Dan has asked me to review all of your threads from the conferences that you post in the workshops that you're going to be doing from here on out. So this video shows you a, a quick and easy way to send me the uh, threads in HTML form so that I can edit them if needed and then send them back to you. So uh, first let's do how to collect the stuff and send it to me. First you need to go to Composer. That's with a K and a P and a Z. And once you have gotten these download results, go only to Downloads. Don't do the web authoring. And when you click on Downloads, you'll be taken to the download page. As I scroll down, you'll see that there's a wide variety of composers that you can download. Uh, choose your language, probably going to be English, but more importantly, you see that composers available in Windows, Mac, and Linux. So once you have chosen the version that is correct for your operating system, go ahead and click on download. And it doesn't matter whether you download the zip version or the exe version. So as you can see, my uh, computer is now downloading Composer. And let's fast forward through this. Once the program has downloaded, go ahead and grab the install file, double click it and follow the install instructions of the install wizard as I'm sure you've done thousands of times with other programs for your computer. And uh, we won't bore each other by clicking through all of these windows, but this is free software available through the uh, open source network. Okay, once it is installed, what you want to do then is uh, throw away that install package and open up Composer, Launch Composer. And it will be launched in Design View, which simply means the WYSIWYG view. Uh, here in Composer it's called Normal. And that's what you want to start off with is this blank page and the Normal tab selected. Next, you want to manipulate Composer so that it takes up about one half of your screen. Because on the other half, you're going to open up the conferences in 999. So let's get this positioned and then we bring up our uh, conferences. I want to pause for a second to make a very important point. In this next step, you're going to see me go to a generic thread on APA. That's because I created it, it has my name on it, and therefore I have edit privileges to it. But that's not what I want you to do. I want you to first create the conference with the course name and the teacher's name for the workshop you'll be conducting. Then populate that conference with the threads that you want to use in that workshop and populate those threads however you wish by copying in a generic thread, by customizing a generic thread, by creating your own thread. However you create the threads for your conference, do that. But those are the threads that I want you to send me. The exact ones underneath the course name and the teacher's name of the upcoming workshop. Okay, we're going to uh, scroll down and open up a generic thread, the APA threads. Let's take a look at the uh, first one, a brief guide to the APA. We'll expand it and click on it to open it. I like to double click so that I get a big view. Once you have that big view, activate your cursor in the thread, Control A to select all, and then Control C to copy all. Go over to your Composer document and simply go Control V to paste in and you'll see everything come in. The next thing you want to do is to save that file. First you'll be giving a title to the page so we'll call this Brief Guide and it is for David so we'll click OK. 
and then another save box will come up and this allows you to save the file to your desktop so first you must title the page and then you must save it as a file to your desktop once you have that file saved to your desktop I want you to right click on it and you'll see exactly what it is it is according to the properties an HTML file and that is the file that I want you to email to me now before you email it to me you want to double click it and you'll see it open in your default browser and go ahead and test everything and make sure you've got it like you want it before you send it to me if it's not like you want it go back to the uh, composer window and uh, change things as you would like them but once you have everything as you would like it go ahead and attach that HTML file to an email to me and I will be able to open it in my composer approve it make any changes and then send it back to you okay great you got the HTML file back from me what do you do with it now you open it in composer you right click on it and choose from the context menu open with composer and then that will open up and it will show first in normal view that means all the images and text are visible and if you click on source you get the HTML view and then you simply reverse the steps that you did the first time to update the thread so the first thing you will want to do is open up the HTML file that I sent you and put it in one half of your screen then you'll open up 999 and go to your conference that you've created and to the thread that you are working on you double click that thread to open it up go over to the HTML file I sent activate your cursor do control A for select all and control C for copy all go back to the thread that you're working on be sure to open it up and then click on edit activate your cursor control A to select all and then scary moment delete it all and after it is deleted go control V to paste in the new HTML thread that you received from me now that's one way of doing it a second way of doing it is to click on edit and this time go to the code tab in your HTML file in 999 then go back over to the HTML file that I sent you click on source view activate your cursor control A to select all control C to copy all then you go back to the thread that you are updating in 999 activate your cursor control A to select all and scary moment number two delete it all and then control V to paste in the HTML clicking update and you will see that your HTML thread is now updated frankly I find the using HTML code to result in fewer errors so there is a tip for you. Okay, good luck, and I look forward to seeing your files.